Hey y'all, this is Val and welcome to my art lounge. So today I am taking part in the Teen Tiny July Hop or July 2022 Hop, I should say, got to be specific. Um, and this month's theme is mix and match stamp companies. Well, for me, I thought that this was going to be a slam dunk because I do it all the time. But when you have to sit down and actually think about using different products, of course, I came up like blank. But this little guy right here from Altenew caught my eye a couple weeks ago. So I got it. And it just so happened that scrapbook.com was having a dye sale for uh, Christmas in July. So I got the dye from them. So altnew slash scrapbook.com but in addition to that die I ended up getting this hibiscus six by six paper pack so there's another stamp company so now we have scrapbook.com we have altnew this I found in one of my local stores in, when I was still living in Tampa from scrapping for less before they went out of business I'm so sad I miss you Teresa and I used this to make the sentiments so be unique and you were born to stand out so oh so I did the hibiscus I cut these out with this die set that I got from believe it or not good old Michaels it's a recollection set so I used this little hibiscus die to cut these out and then I used my Copics company number what is that six <laughs> one two three four so we're on number five right now to highlight it so that you can see the outline of the, what do you call these things? Hibiscus. And then finally, I have this frame, which makes number six from Hero Arts, this nice jungle frame. So what I'm going to do here is I colored this toucan twice because there is a standard, if you can call it that toucan that I just basically borrowed from the back of the package colored it in but I thought it was kind of plain believe it or not even with that big honking beak I thought it was kind of plain so I looked up I looked up a picture of course of different types of toucans and I found this super colorful one let me go back back. Where are you, my friend? Uh, cards, cards. Wait, please. There he is. So I found this guy who's way more colorful. Forgive all the glare, but hey, we need light to see our awesome messy desk so I use that to color the second one so I wanted to do a reveal you know kind of like a plain one and a reveal and I went through 50 million iterations before I decided on vellum and I was going to do the vellum but it still didn't quite do what I wanted it to do because in order to reveal it there was going to be like this funky attaching and I just said forget about it. I'll mount this. So now, actually, yeah, this way. And then I'll put this on top. And I'll add these in. And I'll add my flowers. And you'll see. Here we go.
There you have it. My tropical multi-company card. Now, for those of you who know me, I cannot do any handmade cards without a handmade envelope. So, I have this old um, or retired embossing folder from Stampin' Up! that has this really cool basket weave simply popped it in like so Send it this side run it through actually ran it through this way and there you have but somehow as you can see I was working with the red ink yesterday and somehow I got this on there but no matter I can also do to customize this envelope is to hit it with some of my favorite monstera leaves. Let me grab a my mini. Oops, where are you? Grab my mini misty. there or we have an incident and I will do this like so Maybe back into the camera here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in tuck it right into that corner and I'll just do a couple of tumbling monstera leaves either up the side or across the bottom well either way I'll start here and since this is craft we'll go with a tone on tone let's see Stain. that's not brown enough let's try better. So, rough it up. This is a brand new well, this, I haven't used this stamp yet even though I've had it forever. Rip her up. Wipe that off because that's an accident waiting to happen. Very good. 
Uh, let's we'll do it at the side. In. Wait, my overhang. One more. I mean, just that simple. Simply, you have decorated your envelope. Oop, missed the tip. This is why the Misty is so handy because <laughs> you can make sure you can re-stamp your stuff if you miss some and you won't be upset that it's shifted or to try to line it up perfectly because the machine or the uh, tool does it for you. Okay, so there is my multi-company card with a matching envelope. Thank you very much even if it is a little. With all of these products, holy Toledo, look at it. A little Copic too, because I use Copic to color in my toucans, both of them. All right, hope you enjoyed this. I will make sure that I put a complete list of everything I used on the card and the envelopes in the description below. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful and gave you some ideas for something that you can create for yourself. Please join the rest of our friends out there in the hop. Next in the lineup is written in the description box below. All right, thanks for playing and have a happy Saturday.